And something else I haven't mentioned is that we can actually undock these windows, in other words, tear them away from where they normally live and move them around. So each of these windows has a little vertical row of dots. Just click and drag and you'll see the window come away and you can resize and move it around as you like. You can even dock them to different places. Then if you drop them one on top of the other, it's actually going to be a tab. So where we already had the tabs, Mixer is now added to those. Or I can just tear this out, drop it right on top of the preview, and now we have tabbed preview and Mixer. And if you find that the window you're trying to move around keeps snapping into place on you, even though you really want to land it just near that, but not in that particular place, just hold the control key, and that way it will settle right where you put it. So let's put that back where it was. This is also especially handy if you have two monitors and you want to lay out the different tools across the different monitors. So I'm going to take my mixer again, tear it off where it's living, and just move it on to my secondary monitor. And I can expand that quite a bit. And now it just lives on the top monitor as a separate thing from the interface. So the more real estate you have in terms of how much monitor space or resolution, the more you can kind of spread out and have more room to see more things at the same time. So let's just move that back to where it used to be. And I also want to show you that if you want the preview to be on your secondary monitor, you don't have to grab that window and move it over. There's a button right on a preview. It looks like a little monitor. And if you have a multiple monitor system, you can right click on that go to preview device preferences and then here you can select your device where you want that second output to be so here I have Windows secondary display that's the computer monitor another choice is Firewire you can use that to send it out to a DV deck or a camera for instance and then on to a CRT monitor so let's stick with Windows secondary display we'll click OK as soon as we hit the external monitor button now we have the video previewing on the external monitor as well as the preview on the interface. So, just going to bring that back in here. I'm not going to assume you have that functionality, especially maybe you're editing on a laptop. And this is a really good piece of software for laptop editing as well.